Hello, this video is about making a random walk simulation. Uh, we want to simulate uh, a random walk and um, what we need to do is the following. So, first of all, what is a random walk? Well, we can imagine a random walk to start with in one dimension. So, let's imagine we have space in one dimension along a line, which is sort of chopped up into little units like this, or little cells. And so, I'm going to say we're going to start at zero. Let's say this is the x direction here. So this cell in the middle is 0, the next cell along is plus 1, the other cell to the left is minus 1, and so forth in each direction. And what we're going to consider is a particle which starts at position 0 and a random walk. So uh, in this random walk we could have uh, a number of steps and it could move randomly to the left or right. So... Let's imagine it moves to um, to the right first, and so it appears here. And then it might uh, move uh, again to the right, and appear here. And then after a step, uh, it might... Um, Move back again to here and in another step it might move back to here and then the next step it could move to minus one and then back on to minus two and then it could move to minus one and then it might move to minus two again and then and so on. And it just moves about randomly. And it's impossible to predict where um, the particle will end up, just that it will continue to move about randomly for as long as we um, simulate it. So, it's impossible to predict one path or one walk but we could have um, some uh, maybe get some insight we can get some insight uh, by considering many so consider many random walks. So what I'm going to do here is just make a little table and we're going to have step. So step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for this I'm going to need a coin which I have got here and I'm going to flip this coin and make some decisions about whether a particle moves left or right for each step. Each time it's going to start at zero so we have a tail so let's say that moves to the left so step one for first walk so we'll call this um, so that's the step uh, there at the top and uh, let's say this is walk one here, so first one was a tail, we moved to minus one. We get another tail, so we move to the left, That's uh, so it's moved to minus two now. The next step we get a head, so now it moves back one, so it's now at minus one again. Another head, we've moved to zero, we haven't actually got anywhere now. We get another head for that flip.
And that's a, another head. So we go to plus two. That's another head. We go to plus three. That's a tail. So we go to my, uh, to go back one to plus two. So what we're doing is recording the position of the particle as it moves along. So, um, I think the thing to do now is um, to, uh, I'm going to, uh, let's uh, see, we, if we're going to do uh, this seriously, let's consider um, five walks. And I'm going to pause this uh, recording now and um, just uh, uh, fill this in and come back in a moment. <laughs> 